Welcome back everybody, this is Awaits back with another video on the channel. Today I'm going to talk about a new features in JavaScript. Basically, my favorite features in 2021 in the new JavaScript. And those are really great. So there are three logical operators that a new JavaScript offers. These are the three new logical operators in the latest version of JavaScript. We'll take a look at their demo, what we can do with them. We also have a new replace all method on string. The last method we're going to take a look at is for promises. So we have a new method, promise.any. I'm going to start by creating two new variables. Set a equal to 1, let b equal to 2. And we're going to use this new logical operator. I'm going to say a and then equal to b. And in this step, what would be the value of a after this line and what this operator is doing here? So logical operator basically saying that if the value a has a 30 value, then the variable a should be assigned to the value of variable b. I'm going to press enter and you can see the value is now 2. Now in simple JavaScript, the way we used to write is by using if a, then we say a equal to b. Okay, that was the method that we used to specify. Now you can do this code by simply writing this line. Next operator is true pipe symbols equal to. So this operator is the opposite of this operator. So the variable a will be equal to value of variable b only if the variable a has the falsy value. So we'll say if a not then a equal to b can you recognize this code well you can do this code by simply using now this operator a or of equal to b next logical operator is the most important one i'm going to give you a quick code block so a equal to equal to null or a equal to equal to undefined then a equal to 1. As you can see in JavaScript how many times that you you come across this code where you have to check for a value whether it's null or undefined then do a certain operations. Well in new JavaScript you can do this logic by simply using this operator. So I'll say a question mark question mark equal to 2. So if value a exists then we will assign that to two so for example i'll say c i'll just specify a variable okay and i'll say c question mark question mark equal to two or three enter and now the value three is assigned also have a new method for strings for example if i create a variable let's say text equal to hello world hello world and hello world, okay? Now, what if we want to replace this hello, 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 that's three times that we want to replace. Now, initially we had this replace method where you could actually pass in a string that you want to replace. And I'm gonna say it's replaced with hi. As you can see, we only have the first character or first word replaced instead of all three hellos. After this new method, we used to use regex to replace all the characters of words from a string. But now you can basically use this replace all method, pass in the character or word that you want to replace. As you can see, we got all the hellos replaced with hi. So this method is great. We don't need to use regex any longer for replacing characters or words in string. We also have something new for integers in new JavaScript. For example, we have this new underscore as a separator for integers. I'm going to create a new variable numbers equal to one underscore zero zero underscore zero zero underscore zero zero enter. Or maybe we just add some more zeros there. Enter. And now you can see a number will have this value. So basically we have this underscore to separate and that will make it easier to read your code. But actually the value would be exactly what you type there. 
x we also have a new method on promise which is promise.any so promise.any is a new feature that takes several promises and it will return the first promise which is fulfilled now if you understand promises in javascript then you should be able to use this promise.any